have no access to internet. There's a lot of times where your browser will crash. We'll still get that perpetual spin and we'll have to wait for it to reload. I miss out on a lot of schoolwork with it. And it does get really frustrating. It will load eventually, just will probably take like 15 minutes just to load one page though. I turn on my computer and then I'll go get dinner. And then by the time I'm done with dinner, my computer's loaded and I can log in. Let's say the YouTube video is like five minutes. That'll take out our Wi-Fi for like three days. We have to make sure that all students, whether they're located in a city or in the country, more rural areas, have the same opportunities to learn that many of their counterparts in other states have. You guys are in the 21st century and I'm still stuck back in the 20th. It's kind of a curve and it's not really fair to us. There's a lot of issues at play, our climate, our rural nature, and also internet access. It takes like 30 minutes average for a police or a sheriff man to get up here. So we're very isolated. I couldn't come into town because the roads were so dangerous. My grade definitely suffered. If you don't have the internet to do it, then you've got to stay after school. And if you're in a sport, you might not be able to do that. If they don't have a computer, they can check a computer out. But do they have the access outside at home to be able to connect? I can't do it at home, so I have to do it in this hour. And it's just frustrating. It's like we've bought a brand new vehicle for every kid to access whatever it is that they need to access to be successful. We just don't have gas to put it in there. We don't have access to the internet. So it keeps all the vehicles parked here. As long as we're keeping our young people here, our families here, that's going to be success for Michigan. And broadband connections, that high-speed internet connection is key to making that happen. Until we get that, there's still going to be a majority of kids who are behind the learning curve of everybody else. That's what the legislators need to hear. Either every student in Michigan counts or none of them count. You can't leave some out and say you care about kids. Everyone counts or nobody counts.